Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so I am running a fun project with Forever Crafty on Instagram. We both do a lot of off the mat characters. So we decided to get together, do the same character and record it so that you guys can see our different techniques. And also we like to use different materials. She um, uses regular cardstock a lot. I believe she uses some glitter cardstock, whereas I, and the opposite, I use a lot of glitter cardstock with a little, a little speckle of regular cardstock. <laughs> but what we wanted to do was show you guys so that you could see maybe you like a blend of our techniques. Um, and it's always great to, for me, I learn when I see other people doing things and I might not pick up the whole um, technique, but little things I might like that I can incorporate. So it's just, you know, finding tips and tricks because once you get started doing something, you always go and continue doing that way. It's hard to stumble across new tricks. So, all right, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of Alice in Wonderland characters because we're gonna do Alice as our challenge, but I love all the other characters as well. So I'm gonna be doing all of those. I bought the file from Etsy, so you can see it's here. It's from Cuts, Crafts, and More. So you can also go on Etsy and search for that and buy it. Then you would have the same file. All right, so I just bought it and you can see what else I just bought, a whole series of Aladdin. So I have a huge, um, the next video series will be Aladdin stuff. But all right, so what you wanna do is when you're in Etsy or any one of these stores where you buy online and it's a bundle or you're just buying the SVG file where you think it's a few things, it usually comes in a folder, in a zip file. So what you need to do is you go and click download files and then you want to download here. So when I click on download, it's gonna go over here, it's opening up. You need to go and show in folder because when you're uploading the files into design space, you have to do one at a time. So we can't, I wish we could do this, but you need to open up that zipped file and we gotta get out just the ones we want. So we want this one right here. This is the SVG file. So I'm gonna click on this, hit the control key and click on all the ones because we're gonna be doing all these characters at some point. So I'm just gonna upload everything at one time. All right. Now the other ones, like the PNG files and stuff like that, um, it's nice to have, I don't always bring them in. The only time I bring them in is when I actually need it. But you can also just take your SVG file and flatten it, and then it would become a cut and print as well. So a lot of times I don't use these other formats. All right, let's go into design space. Um, here we go. And you know what, let me close out a few of these because I wanna make sure I'm not slowing down our system my recording and that's not closing. So that's not a good sign. Let's see if I can close from here. Quit. Yes. All right. And I don't know if you guys have noticed that too. I mean, design space is, I love my Cricut machines. Don't get me wrong, but it gets glitchy. So let's try to close out as much as you can. It's taking forever to even close out. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Quit, my goodness, come on. Um, I really want it to close out because I don't want us to have a glitchy session and I, okay, we're down to two, so that's good. No, quit. Let's see, issues. <laughs> All right, so now I finally don't have any. I'm just gonna redo it, get a new window. I don't want anything messing us up. Okay. So a lot of times when I do a whole suite of characters, um, like 
let's say, when did I do that? Um, when I did the Disney princesses for, for one, where I did four of them, I try to keep everything the same size. Um, one time I did a bunch of Jasmine characters, right? So Jasmine, baby Raja, um, oh, a good one is Belle. So Belle has the little teacup. So I made the teacup way smaller so that it's comparable in size to Belle. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to do that with Alice. I'm probably just going to make each character really big. So let's do this. All right. Um, new project. And we're going to go to upload and you remember we dropped everything in to our desktop. So we're going to click upload image browse and I'm going to go to my desktop and let's bring in Alice. And there were two different versions of Alice. One is she's sitting and one she's standing. So let's bring in both right now and I'm going to do the one that's sitting. Oh, so perfect. Here's Alice um, upload and it's already a cut image. So a lot of times when you bring in an image, like for instance, um, bringing in this, it gives you two options for a print and cut and an SVG file. But this is already an SVG file, so that's why it was just a cut file. So let's click on this and insert image and let's start working on it. So normally when I do this, um, and let's make this a little bit smaller so that we can see it all at one time. She is just one big square, right? She's 20, 21 inches by 20. So it's because of the skirt right here. So let's think about this. Let's make it 30 inches and see what we have. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more just so we're not scrolling up and down. My main concern is her face and her arms. I don't want any slices in that or any seams in it because um, with the lighter cardstock and I usually don't use any kind of shimmer or anything for the skin color, uh, it, there's nothing that we can do to hide the seams. So I wanna make sure that the face is 12 inches at most and as well as the arm. The arm, this is kind of long, but this is in a couple pieces, so let's see what we have so we're going to ungroup it and let's click on the skin color and go to contour when we go to contour we can hide out some of the pieces so let's first hide out let's just hide all it's going to leave us the face we're going to see how big the face is so the face is fine 5.3 inches by 7.7 .7, which means the arm is going to be fine let's go to contour though just to make sure and we're going to show all um, actually, no, let's hide all again. Let's click on the arm just to double check. I'm sure the arm is fine. So the arm is nine inches by four. So we're good with the arm. So the only thing that's going to be, um, we're going to have issues with the skirt, but I think with the skirt, my idea is to, um, maybe slice it right here. So this is one part of the skirt. Here's another piece and then have like, uh, maybe another seam right here like a I'm gonna use a dark blue glitter cardstock I want a seam right here and this is kind of difficult to connect because they're going in different directions but we'll see when we get there so let's go to contour bring back everything for the skin and we're just gonna start working on this file so she's gonna look amazing I just want to make sure, let's see, show all. Okay, everything's back. Okay, um, let's look at the hair. Let's do the hair first. Okay, so the hair is 11.7 .7 by 13.8, but it looks like it's in a couple pieces, right? So let's separate out the pieces. I think this is separated right here. So this looks like it's in three pieces. So let's duplicate this. And again, because we're going to use contour to separate this out. So when we're contouring to separate out the pieces, however many pieces you want it separated, that's how many 
uh, copies of the image you need. So I want this in three separate pieces. It needs to have three copies. So let's go to contour and let's, yep, and it's in three pieces, right? So we can see that here, hide all. It's gonna leave us this one big piece. And this one big piece is 9.6 by 13.6. I'm gonna try to rotate this a little bit and see if we can change the dimensions a little bit. Let's unlock it. So it's 10.7 by 12.7, so that's good. Let's continue doing this. Okay. Um, so it, it's gonna be tough. It's so close that some of it's gonna be cut off. So I think what I would wanna do is I do wanna slice this hair up and I want to maybe split it in two right here. I'm gonna make a deliberate cut so it's the hair is actually gonna be in four pieces, okay? So we'll do that next. Let's separate out these pieces. Let's go to contour and hide all. We want this piece, not this piece. So here is the little portion of the bangs. And then on this one, let's contour and let's get rid of this and this and just leave us with this. All right, so those two pieces are good, right? Let's zoom in here for a second. The trick that I like is, you see how the hair, it has all these like natural curves. We're gonna use something that's gonna help us with that. So I'm trying to see if there's any other place that I can cut it. Yeah, I think it's easiest to, to cut it right here. Let's go to text and I, you guys need to look for this if you, this is a downloaded font. So it's called I Love Glitter. So you can see it typed out. It's from dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. And this, um, this font is great for this one swirl. So it's the square bracket, it's the key to the right of the letter P, okay? So when you do that, you get this cute little guy right here. And then make it bigger. You see how it has a natural curve? It's great for slicing. I'm gonna zoom in because I really wanna make this as perfect as possible. So I'm gonna move this over and then let's get over to the hair. So the thickness of these cuts is thinner than this. So I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller to match the thickness, right? Okay, then I'm going to flip this around. Let's see, which way do I want it? Um, let me flip this. want it the other way okay sorry let me flip it again okay here we go that's what I wanted so you see how it kind of fits in there I'm gonna change it a little bit so it's it's a little bit thick right so let's grab this guy and make it just a little bit thinner okay and then now let's get it to fit perfectly so right there you see how it's it's like just a natural cut it's gonna look like it's part of the hair so we're gonna grab these two items and slice and no one's gonna know <laughs> we'll know but it's gonna look amazing I know it all right so here we go we're gonna remove all this Okay, so delete all this, and now look at the hair. We could have done this a little bit more perfectly because I can see I probably should have made it just slightly thinner. But look at that. It looks really, really natural to me. There's no way when we put this all back, and let's do it right now because we haven't moved anything. See, her hair just looks like, okay, 
that's the way it is. It has, you know, these little cuts in it to show like the waves. That looks natural to me. All right, so this one we need to split in two, right? So let's duplicate it. Contour and get rid of one side. So we have this guy. This guy is nine inches by 4.6. Good. Contour, get rid of this piece. And let's see our big piece is 7.9 by 11.5. Not a big deal. We just need to twist it a little bit. Let's unlock it. 9.8 by 9.6. So it's going to be seamless. Her hair is good. All right, let's look at this. So this we need to split up. Let's see. The We can slice this. So let's go and get a square. Make it really big. And we're just going to slice out the arm first. So let's grab these two items and slice. Remember when you're slicing, you can only slice two items at one time. So in this case, it's the square and all of the skin pieces because the skin pieces was showing as one piece. So now we want to break it up because together it was too big of a piece for us to cut. But now we can cut this. This is 9.2 by 4.4. So it's perfect. Let's grab our face and slice. Okay, now her face, normally I would get rid of this, but what I like to do with the face is I like to go to contour of that duplicate copy, right? And let's hide all. So if there were any seams in the face, this we're going to change to black. This will cover the seams that are going that possibly would go through her eye here and her mouth. And this will sit on top, arrange, send to the front. So that if there were a, you know, to be a seam, it's now covered. So you wouldn't notice anything because there are things inside, you know, where the eyes go and the mouth, but there's still some black in there. And our eyes are automatically drawn to the face. So for me, the face is super important that it has no seams, even in the black background. So this is how we can avoid that. Let's look at the hands for a second, the fingers. Let's go to contour. I think it's in a bunch of different pieces. Yeah. So here, it's going to be up to you. If I'm not cutting this one, I'm only showing you in design space. But if I were to cut this, what I would do is see how what her one hand is in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pieces. What I would do is I would make a small circle right here to weld these two pieces together. Then I would weld a little bit right here, maybe a little bit right here so that these four pieces become one piece. Maybe leave these separated you know, just to show that if that's what you want, but that's what I would do because this is a lot of pieces to keep track of. It's fine if you don't want to, you know, if you don't want to weld it, but for a, you know, for a two by two, like this much, and it's in, I don't know, how many pieces do we say? Like eight pieces? That's a lot of pieces. All right, so I'm gonna move that aside. We're done with these two items. Let's look, oh, her hair we're done with as well. All right, here are all the white pieces. So let's zoom in for a second. I would, let's see, okay, there. I would want to weld the cup together as well, just a little bit, not to ruin all the details, but to make this easier for us so that this is all one piece. Um, let's see, everything else looks pretty good. All right, so let's, zoom out again. We're going to need to separate all these pieces. So let's use our square. Let's start separating. Okay. So we're going to separate this right here. Grab these two items and slice. So this we can cut, right? It's 11 inches by 7.9, perfect. Let's see, 
let's see how well we do with this apron. Let's flip this over so we're using the same piece. Let's see if we can, I don't think I can get that apron, but let's get this little shoulder piece right here. So let's grab this, slice, and let's see if we will actually have the white be seamless. I'm a little bit worried about the apron. I think the apron's a little, a little wide. Um, Okay, so here, let's delete this. Let's bring in a new square, separate out the cup, the eyes, and then see what we have left, okay? So let's move that in. And I'm gonna rotate, oh, you know what? Let's do the eyes first, and get the eyes out of the way. All right, so we're gonna grab these two and slice. Now, if you go and grab two items and you go down to slice and it's grayed out, it's because you picked up more than two items. You either picked up one or you picked up more than two. Because <laughs> if you picked up two, you should be able to slice. All right, here are the eyes. Um, let's rotate this and get the cup out of the way. And you wanna make sure that whatever piece you're isolating from the others is completely covered in that image or in that square and nothing else. Otherwise you're gonna get a really messed up piece. All right, so here's our cup. Okay, move that aside. All right, let's get this top. Now the top will be fine, because this looks small to me. Yeah, seven inches by six. I would probably even separate that. I would weld that together. Let me show you what welding that together looks like in a second. Let's look at this piece. All right, so this piece is, oh, the apron's gonna be awesome. Look, it's 12 inches by 7.5. If we just rotated this a little bit, unlock it, 11.6 by eight. We can cut that on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, so we're good there. Let's look at making some of these pieces easier for us though. Like I was saying with the cup, let's do the cup actually. So I'm gonna zoom in so we can really see it. Okay, I'm gonna move the cup over here. So I'm gonna make, I like all the details, so I don't wanna ruin that aspect, but I don't need, for these to be in separate pieces. So I'm gonna make this circle super small and I'm just gonna weld this saucer right here to that bottom cup. So it's still gonna have the openness of this, but it's all connected here. And I would do that with this and this as well so that this becomes one piece here two, three, instead of one, two, three, four, five, six pieces before. Every time that you kind of cut down on that kind of stuff, one, it's so much easier when we go to piece this together that these two are already connected. So you know exactly where these two pieces will land together. It has the right spacing. It just makes it easier. Okay, so let's zoom out. But I'm gonna, that you know, that's totally um, an aesthetic kind of thing. So I'm gonna leave that, all right. So we're good so far with everything. Everything is going to look seamless because it is, even the hair, because we made a deliberate cut, so it does not, it's not a seam. Here is our blue. Our blue is gonna be an issue. So our blue is humongous. So first we need to slice these things out so that we are just dealing with the skirt. Um, so let's bring in our square and start slicing things out. And I'm gonna grab, let's move this skirt out of the way. So little by little, we're gonna move this thing out. Then I'm gonna get the little tail part right there. All 
Okay, so see how this is down here? I'm gonna see if I can, I'm gonna go from up here. So I'm grabbing my square and I'm grabbing the blue, but I'm not grabbing the eyes. And so I can still slice. So things can still be there, but if your mouse doesn't pick up, like your cursor doesn't grab it, then it's still just the two items. It's the blue and the square, even though the eyes were right there. Okay, so we've got this. Let's get rid of this top part and see what we're dealing with down here. But she's gonna look so cute with the colors, the glitter, all of that. Okay, so this, you can continue slicing, right? This is gonna, it's 11 inches by 6.6, .6, but there's a lot of empty space. So for me, I like to slice all these out, but so that later when you go to cut this, you can put, I mean, or you could do this. This is still 11 inches by 6.6, .6, but it covers everything. All right, let's see how big this guy is. Whoo, all right. So like I was saying, I definitely wanna slice it right here. So what I would do is I would again bring in that little glyph, right? So the square bracket from I Love Glitter. And we're gonna have to zoom in so we can make this skirt, this slicing as good as can be. So these are a lot thinner than this, so I'm going to unlock it and make it thinner. Okay, and then I'm going to flip this over. So I lost a lot of my curve when I did that. So I don't love what I have right here. So I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna click the text button and get that glyph back in. Go. I'm gonna undo it for a second. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> I know with the new um, design space update, I've noticed that if you delete something before, if you hit the back button, it would reappear. Now deleted items are kind of gone forever. Um, okay, so let's flip this around. See, I need to make this bigger because it needs to reach to an edge. Oh, oh my gosh, did I do it again? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know what? I changed my mind. I'm gonna use a darker blue for her skirt. So if I do that, I'm going to slice it And just the seams will be hidden because it's a dark blue glitter cardstock. That's what I'm gonna do. I changed my mind because I'm thinking that glyph is gonna be too thick and it's not gonna look natural. So I think the only thing that we can do is um, we're gonna cut the seams, but we're gonna minimize what we can see because we're gonna use a dark blue glitter cardstock. So let's do this. Okay. Let's slice it right around there and then maybe slice. We'll, we'll see how big this is. All right, so let's grab these. Oops, geez. Let's zoom out for a second. Let's make this. 11 and a half, okay. So I'm gonna slice it at an angle like that. Let's 
So I'm going to remove this. And this piece is 11.9 by 10.6. It will cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock with a 12 by 12 mat. Let's look at this piece. So this is 18 inches by 11.4. Where else can I slice it? I mean, I guess if we sliced it right here, sorry, I'm thinking. Um, I don't want to slice something like this. That's so long. Um, but it's so thin right here. I want to be able to slice it right here, but I don't think that I can. Mm. So it's kind of tough. Let's see if we can do something like this. So I kind of want to slice it right around there. Okay, so I'm gonna grab these two things and slice. Now we have to be careful when we're removing things. So this is what we're gonna do, okay? So let's see what we have here. Okay, so this we can get rid of. This we can get rid of. Okay, when we click on this piece, what we wanna do is we wanna duplicate it. On this piece, we wanna get rid of this, right? So let's contour, and we don't want this little piece. So now we have this piece that's by its own. This one, we wanna contour. We wanna get rid of this piece, but we wanna leave that piece here. We actually wanna make this whole again. So we're gonna grab these two items and weld it. Oh, perfect. And this piece is now on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So the seam is going to be as minimal as possible right there. Hopefully no one will notice because it's the shortest cut right there. And then this will go up here like this. And that's gonna be our skirt in a dark blue glitter cardstock. All right, let's zoom out. All we have left is the black back. Oh, here's the purple. The purple is the um, the underskirt. So the, I think it's cute that it's a different color. This for sure you need to slice because they're tiny pieces, but it's showing as 20 inches by 5.7. So let's go here, slice this out. There it is, <laughs> like was not moving. Okay, so that's one piece, delete that. Here's our little purple, all good. So now what we have left is just the black background. So we're gonna build our grid of flush squares because we want these, we're basically taking a 30 inch character and slicing it up into pieces that the Cricut can cut with 12 by 12 cardstock. So we're just gonna have puzzle pieces. We want it to be so that when we put the pieces back together, they're gonna go right up to each other and be completely flushed, and then we tape it up. So that's gonna help um, minimize any seams because it's not gonna catch any light. When they're right next to each other and taped up like that, you're not gonna notice the seams. Plus, everything else is gonna sit on top of it. The only seams we have is in the blue skirt, but like I said, with the dark blue glitter cardstock, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it because in fact, I did the same thing with Cinderella in her skirt when I made her 48 inches and you could not see the seam there. So I know this blue, the dark blue glitter cardstock from either Ground Up Creations or Cricut will really help you blend in and not see the seams. Now this guy though, we need to cut it up. So let's bring in our first square. And we're gonna go and make it 11 by 11 because 11 and a half inches is not gonna make a difference in, in our um, figure right here. And I don't like dealing with half inches. <laughs> so let's just build a, a grid of nine squares. 
So here's the first one. We're gonna go to the position feature and we're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So 6.1 becomes six, 7.04 becomes seven. We're gonna duplicate that square, put it really close to this one and round again. So this is 17 and seven. And let me show you the math behind it. So this is six, uh, six it's at six, seven, right? So six is the X coordinate um, it is the one running across. So we go over six units, go down seven units, and here's the beginning of our square. So this is at six, it's 11 inches long, so this is gonna be at six plus 11 is 17, and there's 17, okay? Now we're gonna duplicate again. We're building nine squares. We, we're not gonna use all nine because there's a lot of empty space, but we're gonna build it just so that we have it ready. All right, so this is gonna be 28 and seven. Now we have three squares, right, that are completely um, flush with each other. So we're gonna go over to this panel over here. I forgot to delete this, so I'm just gonna grab this and delete it. Okay, I'm gonna grab these three, hit the shift key, and you see they're selected, right? We're gonna duplicate because they're already flush with each other. We've got a set of flush squares and we're gonna put it really close and round. This is gonna be six and 18. Then we're going to do it again and put it down here and six and 29. All right, so we have our nine squares completely flushed, right? So I'm going to move it over a little bit. Let's scroll down and get our back black background. And here she is. And you're going to select it and then arrange send to the front. Okay, so now I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Now we can see where all the seams are gonna be. So we want big pieces. This is a big no-no. See, we're gonna have a pinky that's coming out that you need to keep track of. We don't want that, we want big pieces. So if anything, we can either move this over this way or move it over this way. And don't worry about this, we can always deal with this later. But, because I don't think, oh, we can still move it in. Okay, we could do something like this. At least that's a sizable piece that we can tape together. When they're so small, one, you gotta keep track of it from the cutting mat, and then you have to tape it together. It's just not worth it. We want big pieces here. So, oh, it looks like her face will be perfect. Um, so we don't need that black one, right, if you remember. And I don't love this. So I almost feel like, what would happen if we did? I think that would be good. So that's a big portion of her hair. Here's her face. All this is together. This little guy, it sucks. It's a small piece, but it's not super small. So I'm okay with that. Everything else looks really good, except for this. Let's see, can we move this up a little bit? Okay, because I didn't want, okay, that. Okay, so this looks pretty good. I think what we're gonna do though, is the reason why I like everything on a whole number is because we can then move this over like this and still get everything back in shape. So that's going to cut that. Um, we can move this over as well. So let me um, arrange send to the back for a second. And we're gonna move this over. And again, so we can do, let's just do 13 and 18. We know everything is still flushed and that's why I like being on a whole number. We can easily shift things like that. Okay, so let's go grab her again and bring her to the front. Okay, so now instead of this being, this is one piece, now we have this slicing somewhere down here. 
So these are all big pieces. We don't need this one. Okay, so ready? Let's start slicing. All right, we're gonna slice, oh geez, let me undo that. One square at a time, so let's do this. And then what I like to do is I like to keep her in order. So she's my, you know, there's a map in design space on how to piece this back together. I can't tell you, I'm just, pieces start looking really weird to me and I just don't know where they go. <laughs> so we're just gonna go all the way around it and then let me move all this over for a second so that we have a clear space. All right, so I'm moving her over rebuilding her okay but see how you can see where things go because it butts up to each other so these are all nice big pieces right that we can keep track of okay so this we need to slice And we're almost done. One more slice and then I'll show you the make it screen so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so I think we're done. Let's pull these pieces over. And we have all the colored pieces sitting on top of here. So the only seams you're gonna see are, are just a little bit like here because the skirt's gonna cover it. It's just on the edge, so no one's gonna notice it. Um, she's gonna look really, really cute. So here is her black background. Let's save this. And then let's go to the make it screen so I can show you some tips and tricks there. Okay, this message, just click okay, you're fine. Okay, so here is the white. If you remember, we need to rotate this and it will fit on a 12 by 12 mat. If you only have a 12 by 12 mat, um, don't worry. We can just move this. Um, so these two pieces, if you don't have a 12 by 12 mat, what you can do is, uh, let's see, what can we move? Cause it looks like we have another piece white here. So actually maybe, so I hope you know that you can rotate these pieces and make them fit. I'm going to try to bring this up here. Oh yeah, so that fits in there. Then we have this piece. Let's move this one, click the three dots, move object. And we're gonna squeeze it in with this one. I don't know if this is gonna fit, but we're gonna try. So it looks like we're gonna need two, oh yeah, it's gonna fit because we can rotate this. Okay, so it's gonna be two 12 by 12 pieces of white cardstock. Don't worry that this is a 12 by 24 mat. It will just feed in 12 inches. You can use a 12 inch mat with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. All right, let's look at our block. However, there is a bulk sale right now. And for a green mat, I only use the 12 by 24 green mats because each 12 by 12 comes down to be $1.50. That is the cheapest 12 by 12 mat you will ever get. And so I just use it, even though I don't really use 12 by 24 cardstock or vinyl or HTV. Um, but I just flip the mat over and then as it gets less sticky, I use it for cardstock. So it's the best buy because those mats are like $13. So yes, follow me and do that. <laughs> Okay, so there was space up here, right? Maybe we can think about doing something there. This piece is humongous. This piece is kind of slender but long. 
All right, so this, is this two piece? Oh, we don't need this anymore, remember, because there were no seams in the face. So I'm just gonna click on this and do hide. This guy, I think, can fit somewhere else. Oh yeah, there's a lot of pieces that can fit here. So let's start moving some of these things. Um, this one, let's move. So you wanna just consolidate where you can, right? Because the fewer cuts, it's just nicer. Um, that would definitely fit with this. Maybe I need to do something. <laughs> Is it not letting me do that? Oh, because it's too, okay. So this piece, maybe we can turn it this way. There. Then I saw another small piece. Is it this one? Okay. Click on the three, move object. And I feel like that piece could fit definitely here. Just make sure that when you move things though, that nothing's overlapping because then it will cut into itself. All right, that's it for the black. Here is this. This should fit on that la on the top one. So let's click on that move object. So you need one sheet of skin color and then the black is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces of black, two white, looks like two yellow maybe one if i can fit that up there somehow um your blues are gonna be three sheets and then scraps for these two all right so let's do that oh yeah this will definitely If you wanted to save it for next time, you have more usable space right here. Okay, let's look at the hair. So the hair is, oh no, that hair is fine. Let's move up this big piece. Let's move this over. Oh yeah, so the hair is one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Oh, hold on. That makes more sense. So next time you have a, you know, a long piece right here that you can reuse for next time. Um, when you're doing your paper, just line it up to the 12 line. This is fine, it's gonna cut beautifully. Let's look at this. Rotate this, get this all the way up. Okay, this one is fine. This one should definitely go onto the other page and move it with this one. And then we're done. All right, so actually, I would, oh, let's see, we can make this better. Oh yeah, so that next time there's more usable. Oh, okay, so that's all connected together. Oops, no, I want this. Just so next time that you have this large space up here to use, it's easier when you have usable scraps. All right, that's it. I can't wait to see you for more Alice in Wonderland characters. And then I will actually do the Alice standing. That's gonna be my piece that we will compare. All right, see you guys next time. Thank you.